You're watching the Jedi News YouTube channel. I'm James Burns from Jedi News and also the Star Wars Collectors Cast. Today we're looking at Rey's lightsaber from The Force Awakens as created as a prop that you can buy by Prop Shop Studio Editions, the actual people that worked on some of the props for The Force Awakens. In a previous video, I opened up this little beauty, which is Kylo Ren's lightsaber from The Force Awakens. This is a prop replica, prop a replica even, also created by Prop Shop and available as an open edition for $1,250. So this is what they did with Kylo, as you can see, great stand, looks great. We're going to open up Ray's right now. So Prop Shop were involved with the creation of The Force Awakens and what they've done here, Disney and Lucasfilm have granted them a license to create these collectibles. So a little bit of background information, just so you are up to speed. These have been created using the original 3D digital data from the actual props. So, they, so they've been scanned by over 50 cameras to ensure that they get every single uh, nuance on the prop. And then they've been hand finished by a, a highly skilled artisan at Prop Shop. They're made of composition of 3D printing materials, forged items and cast items. Uh, each includes a chip to authenticate this serial number that is printed on the certificate of authenticity and also on the medallion that's included. So right now there is an RFID chip inbuilt to every single one of the props available from Prop Shop, but there's no way of actually reading that information. Disney, Lucasfilm may put out an app in the future, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, as you can see, they are delivered in a, an amazing crepe, which we'll talk about in a few more minutes. And the stand weighs around about 800 grams, and the prop itself around about 450, 500 grams. So, back to the crate. This is how they would store the crates on the film set. Similar way to this, especially when they're transporting them from uh, different places when they're going on location. So we've got the Lucasfilm Limited logo. On the top here we've got Star Wars The Force Awakens. Really, really nice crate. The crate in itself is actually a collectible item. And then on the side, Prop Shop Studio Editions, the First Order emblem and the Rebel insignia as well. So it uh, looks really, really good. On the front of the box there is a seal, which we are now going to break. So here we go. Let's break the seal. So big, big thanks to the folks at Disney UK who made all this possible. We reached out to them when these were first launched and we've had to wait because all of these are made by hand to order. So um, I had to wait a few weeks to get them. Uh, Disney UK worked with us to make sure that we could do it and uh, Prop Shop have lent these to us. So big thanks to them. They have to go back, unfortunately. So a uh, bit of a shame, but it is what it is. So here we go. So there, and the top slides open. Okay. There we go. So inside, we have a picture of the prop itself, and we have a description, so it's raised lightsaber hilt, and you can see that the packaging inside is another box. Should have mentioned that this actually comes in a huge, big, standard cardboard box as well, so it's very, very well protected in terms of when it ships to you. So if we... Uh, Take these out. We can actually get to the item itself. Box, standard box. Uh, it's got very little on uh, on the outside. Underneath, it's got all the copyright information for Lucasfilm. So if we pop that open, you can see that we've got the stand at the bottom here, the actual lightsaber hilt, and then uh, the medallion. So let's just put that down. Let's have a look at everything that we've got in the box. So first up we have our medallion and our certificate of authenticity. So let's open this up and have a look at that. So it looks like the, the stand is a very, very similar design to that of Kylo's, but we'll compare them at the end. Okay, so Star Wars, it's like embossed box. Got some artwork there of Ray's lightsaber and the certificate of authenticity. So as it says, it's an ultimate studio edition and it's piece number 574. Uh, it should just say that this collectible has been created and produced by Prop Shop at Palmer Studios England, where the original props, costumes and maquettes 
were made for Star Wars Force Awakens. Prop Shop have utilised the same specifications, processes and technology used to create the original prop, advanced digital fabrication techniques including 3D printing and other ad additive manufacturing processes have contributed to create components of the highest quality, ensuring that they are virtually identical to the screen version and authentic in every way. Each part of this artifact has been made to the highest quality and has been finished and assembled by the hands of specialist motion picture prop makers and artists. This prop upholds an unprecedented level of authenticity validated by a medallion and this accompanying certificate. Each piece has been microchipped to protect the provenance of the original and ensure this Ray lightsaber hilt is a truly ultimate studio edition. We hope you enjoy owning this collectible as much as we enjoy making it. May the force be with you. And that's from James Enright, who's the CEO and asset director at Prop Shop. So there's our Sivka. And inside we have a cleaning cloth, uh, which we also got with Carlos. And then this is the medallion. So the medallion has Star Wars on one side. It's really nice, it's got a heavy medallion. So that's a heavy medallion. And if we turn that around, we have a ray lightsaber hilt. So each one of these medallions, the number matches up with the certificate. This is number 574. And also on the uh, the outside, we've got some Urubash as well, which is what we had on the previous medallion. So all the medallions are pretty much identical to each other. The only difference being the image on the back, which denotes which particular prop that you've bought. As I said before, it's available for $1,250. Put that back in the box. Okay, so on to the prop and the stand. So here is our stand, and the stand is practically identical to the Kylo piece, although I would imagine some of the uh, machining at the bottom um, is going to be very, very similar. Uh, sorry, some of the machining at the bottom may be specific to the actual lightsaber. Maybe we'll have a look at that a bit later. Star Wars Force Awakens logo. So if we put that there, um, if I actually grab the Kylo stand, you can see that they are actually identical. So, uh, okay. And let's get the actual piece out itself. So this is the lightsaber that Ray spent a lot of the film wielding and uh, at the end of the film she gives it back to Luke or tries to. We don't know what happens next but I guess we'll find out. So this is Ray's lightsaber as it's now become from The Force Awakens and I have to say the detail is pretty incredible. It's got quite a lot of heft to it. Um, it's been hand finished which you can see. Uh, really really nice detail. It seems, unfortunately though, it may, this is straight out of the box, so um, I think when it was put in the box, it may have been, ah here we go, it's just a sticky residue. Proves this is live, so there's a sticky residue on the back here of one of the grips, which I'm just pulling off, it all comes off. No damage to the actual hilt at all, you just see it's a sticky residue that's from the packaging, so that will all clean up and wipe off. Happens with the best of things. Obviously you would like it to come straight out of the box. Now there's a bit of residue all around it but as I said it's coming off so not too much of an issue. Apart from that though it looks really really great. On the bottom of the master replica and the EFX replicas that we've seen before we did have um, Lucasfilm marks and things at the bottom. They aren't on here um, and to me that took something away from them but these are our actual props directly from the film so it's, it's nice to see that they haven't and one of the points that they do make on their website is that they could take one of these and put them into the film and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference so uh, really really nice you can see everything there what we're going to do in a second is we're actually going to take a look at one of the old master replica hills just to compare it to see how it stands up hands are a bit sticky from some of the residue that was left. Uh, I wouldn't let that put you off. As I said, you know, these are packed um, and we've had really, really hot weather in the in uh, the UK. So it could be that some of the plastic has melted maybe. So let's put that 
on the stand. So you can put it in a few different ways. I think it looks like a really, really nice piece. Let's just show you against the Kylo Ren piece, which is actually a bit heavier. So you've got Kylo Ren and Ray's lightsaber from The Force Awakens. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the master replica version of the hilt, which I've got over here. So, so this is the master replica version, which uh, came out many years ago. And if we, you can see that um, this is quite interesting because what they've done here, um, depending on the versions that they were used. Um, this box was around the other side depending on, on, on which version of the lightsaber was used for promotional shots or what. Um, so that's why there is some, some differences. Um, in terms of weight, the Master Replica version weighs a lot more than Ray's version. Um, this is probably uh, because this is, n doesn't include any 3D printing, whereas I would imagine this in potentially includes some 3D printing, I'm not sure. But if you look at the actual detail, they do look very, very similar. The one on the right is the prop shop version. The one on the left is the master replica version. So you can see that the, the weathering detail on the right on the new version is, uh, is there, whereas it, it doesn't really exist on the master replica version. There's a few differences. So, um, for example, the grips all have rivets here at the bottom, and those rivets are missing from the Master Replica version. The control panel is slightly different. The bottoms, as I was saying before, uh, the Master Replica version says that it was made in China. It's the signature edition, it came out in 2006 and it's got all the copyright information. So it says that it was Lucasfilm Limited, Master Replicas Inc, etc, etc. So uh, that sort of spoils it a little bit, but, but still. Um, so a few differences, let's put that one away. So here we have Ray's lightsaber from The Force Awakens. I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job. Um, I really, really like the weathering. It's a really, really nice piece to add to your collection. Available now from Prop Shop. Uh, if you just Google Prop Shop Star Wars, you're going to be taken straight to their site. Uh, I think they've done a great job. Between the two, if I had to pick one, I think Kylo may be edging it. Although I do like Ray's lightsaber as well. Just because of the significance of Ray's lightsaber. This is the first lightsaber that we ever saw on screen in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. And this is what sort of brought us all in and uh, sort of has taken us on a journey over the last 40 years. So a uh, big, big, big thanks again to Disney and to Prop Shop for uh, lending us these and letting us do these unboxing videos. Both of these, Kylo Ren and Ray's Light Slide are available now for $1,250. If you like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can like it and you can also post comments and we'd love to hear from you. That's it for now. Clear skies. And may the force be with you, always.